Howdy guys, it's Tachi, and welcome to another episode of the the beta scenarios. And I just got into the uh, the Theramore scenario that just coming out today, which uh, most of you probably have already witnessed. But I'm gonna stop here for the cutscene. So wow, it looks like uh, they really did it. They really destroyed Theramore. So you start out and you have uh, a few easy pulls. That's why I try and group up as many as I can. But uh, these hunters have their pets on tanks, so I really can't even hold them because the pet aggro is so strong. Other than that, I just you know DPS as fast as I could. I probably should have just transitioned to DPS gear. But I wanted to tank, just to mess around. So after we clear this first pack, you run up and you get uh, another stage. So that's what we're gonna do. So we have to, uh, what we have to do is we have to kill the captains on three of these ships and burn them to the ground, and also try to kill these guys too. Which I, you see, I just grab everything. So I am in like a heroic. Heroic Dragon Soul gear for a lot of my pieces. And it's kind of weird that none of us have a dispel, so we just kind of have to uh, deal with it. You notice I start losing a little bit of health here, but it's not really that big of a deal. I feel like it was uh, rather undertuned. So we just try and up uh, everything. You notice I get charmed, so I can't do anything, but. I just uh, thunderstorm. It does a lot of damage. It's kind of, kind of sad that I'm out DPSing two hunters, but we still do it anyway. You notice I'm killing one of the uh, the captains. Lead them with the AOE looting, just get a few gold. And here we are, we uh, setting the boats on fire, which is pretty cool. Get a little revenge on the uh, the horde for destroying Theramore. Just like I told you, the, the hunter shoots them, and I just lose all aggro because of the feds. But they all die pretty fast. They don't do that much damage either. So I may fast forward this part because there's really nothing but us uh, killing trash. Oh, and as you notice, we're on the second ship already. So I just pick everything up and AoE it down. <laughs> I 
mean, this guy does a few things, but I like this whirlwind right here, but I'm so tanky, I just use my uh, shield absorb and don't take any damage. You'll notice that uh, I'll cast it here in a second. But as long as I use my uh, health cooldowns, I really I don't even take any damage at all. Now, I believe I could probably solo this whole place. Probably pretty easily. And I believe he'll do the whirlwind one more time before we kill him. Maybe. Nope, he's dead. So here's barrel number two. And I'm gonna fast forward to the uh, the next ship. And here we are, attacking the uh, leader of this boss. I mean, leader of this, uh, the captain of this ship. I really didn't notice anything special that he did. The guy sets it on fire while I'm on here, so I'm taking that fire damage. But I just pull him back. Okay. Looks like their mages can sheep you. Pretty funny. And uh, now I can finally mount up. I'm gonna do a flip and then head out to uh, the next stage. decide to pick up everything in this area. I'm guessing you wouldn't have to, but it's easy enough just to pick up everything. Probably could pick up the boss as well. You see me use my dragon war, it does a lot of damage. And I'm still out DPSing everybody as a tank. They go to get, interrupt these casters. Pretty easy trash pulls all together. So I'll go ahead and charge the boss while we're here. He does a few things, but he dies so fast that it's not even, you know. Now I'd, I'd be happy to see what this looks like at 90. Probably going to be a lot tougher. Because this will only last a week and then uh, Mop comes out and then you won't be able to do it anymore until you're level 90. But you do, uh, you do get a nice achievement, a feat of strength, added to every one of your characters that does, does it. So do them with all your alts, or you can't get it anymore. I don't know if it's shared or not. I don't think it is shared. But I may, may be mistaken. So here we go down to Jaina, and I'm going to be quiet because uh, she does talk for a little while. Aberration destroyed everything. Everyone. The Horde cannot be allowed to recover the focusing iris. Eliminate what remains of their forces, and I will secure the artifact. So that's right, we have to destroy the destroyer, and we have to get some banners and bring back to her, along with the. Uh, we pick up some of this trash along the way. You know, as soon as that guy gets pulled with the other guy's aggro. So we take care of him quite easily.
I tried to uh, down his sight them over here to get those throwers, but apparently they just throw right through the stone and everything. If you notice in the background, you'll see that destroyer there in the back. I don't, I don't know if he's supposed to automatically start pathing or not. But the video I saw, other video I saw online, he was back there in the back. But it doesn't matter. I just tank him anyway. There he is, way up there in the back. Just like he's padding though. Warrior tank is pretty fun since the new changes. I kind of like the way they work. Still not as fun as the monk tanking though. There you go, there's one of the banners we have to pick up. And there he is, pathing back. So I just, just tried to pull as much as I can. That air, that that big circle on the ground, it does hit quite hard if you get caught in it. No matter who you are. I've heard a lot of people complain that it's too easy, but you have to remember this is uh this is made for like 85s that are just finished leveling up. There again, you see the circle on the ground. He attacks. So I'll pretty much just spam AoE abilities. Drops totems, but I just kind of ignored him. Cutted him out of it. There you go. That part's done. Now just to kill these ads and uh, pick up the other two flags and return to Jaina. It's also kind of nice having two hunters with the pets and stuff, so this went by quite fast. I know on my main Shadow Priest it took us like uh, eight minutes to do the whole thing because I had a guild group with me and uh, Orlock and uh, our brother Red Paladin, which he like one shots every mob because he's, you know, in all 410 gear. He's got the heroic Earth Rag. And this, I guess it, I was going to let this guy pick up a uh, banner. But I guess he didn't want to. So here we are. We're getting uh, going back to the center to talk to Jaina, and I'll be quiet because she talks some more. I need to target some. I must attune to the focusing iris before transport. Protect me. No one can protect you. Kill the proud more wench. And bring me that bomb! Your people are despicable cowards, Orc! You're nothing more than rabbit dogs, and you will be put down! Brave words, mate. I'll spit in your face when you beg for mercy. And you will have none. You want carnage? Garros will get more blood than he ever bargained for! I'll bring the Lord Chief your head! You can tell she is pretty pissed. So here we go with the... Uh, with the warlord there we have to kill. And he's pretty simple. Uh, he's got a few phases to the fight. Like you see him using his two-hander right now. And in a little bit he'll switch to a sword and shield. It'll give you an emote saying he switched. We kill him pretty fast, though. And I have to keep taunting, because uh, his pet is just, you know, just aggro, you know, taunts one time and full aggro on him. There it is, he, swap he switched to his sword and shield. So I imagine he becomes a little bit more tankier. And he is dead. I said a pretty simple fight. I can't wait to see what it looks like at 90. You loot him, get the achievement. All of you have my deepest thanks. With the focusing iris removed, this lifeless bomb is merely a sickening testament to Garrosh's brutality. The winds of change blow fiercely. Azeroth is on the brink of war. 
My apologies, but you must excuse me. I have much to consider. Oh, well. It's pretty awesome. You get to see the little alliance symbol in the uh, in the rockets. I didn't win any items. I haven't won anything on my uh, on my alts either. This is my third time running it, or fourth, something like that. And I didn't get any BOAs. I mean, not BOAs. I didn't get any epic legend epic items, which I really don't need anyway. So I'm just happy to uh, get the feat of strength. And now I run to uh, find a mailbox to show you what you get mailed to you if you're an Alliance character. Mel was over there looking for the uh, the kid that sells the white kitten. Because I wanted to get another one before the, uh, before the patch comes out. So I've been sitting there waiting. And here's the uh, tabard you get. And you can read it. I'll leave it open for quite a bit. You can pause it if you need to. There you get a tabard, and I go ahead and put it on my bars, and then move it over there, and I'll go somewhere where you can see it, get stuff on those stupid crates. Here we go. Which I think is pretty cool. You get a Theramore banner. I show my respect to the, uh, the people. So, uh, Thanks for watching. This has been Tachi, signing off. Have a good day.